All right, what's up guys? This is uh, Coach Ben. So today I wanted to answer a couple more questions that I've been getting from coaches who are on my email newsletter. I've also seen this question a lot from our YouTube channel. So if you missed yesterday's video, I talked about different ways to market yourself if you don't have uh, any players in your program. And you might want to go back and watch that after you get done watching this video. So what I talk about here makes more sense. Okay, so a big question I get is if I have my program set up and there's parents in my community that I want them to train in my program, do I need to be really aggressive in, in the sales process or do I need to wait for people to take action? So here's a good example. When I go out to the soccer fields on Saturdays, um, I typically do this twice a month. When I go out to the fields, when I'm watching some of the players who, who I personally train in their games, I know I have an opportunity to talk to other parents about my program. And here's what I don't do. I don't just go give people my business cards. I don't just like aggressively go talk to people. But what I do is I position myself in a way where the parents of the kids who I'm watching they will go introduce me to other people. And when I know that they can do that, they're basically saying, hey, this is Coach Ben, he's been helping our son. Uh, and it's pretty evident at that point that their son is doing well, otherwise they wouldn't want to go introduce me to other people because they would be embarrassed if their kid was doing bad. They, they, they would never want to introduce me to other people at that point. So I go in as someone who's trusted and then in that conversation, I'm as aggressive as humanly possible when it comes to showing them that I am here to help. And I've been listening to this podcast and, being, and reading a bunch of books about uh, recently about selling and, and why it's your obligation to sell, right? When you believe so much that you have something that can help other people, if you are shy selling that, then you're not gonna be able to help that many people. And if you are really aggressive, knowing that you have something that, I mean, if you think about it, if you're a coach, you have something that can literally transform a player's confidence, um, which can literally transform the rest of their life. Like, I know, you know, a lot of kids out there that I've been working with, especially recently, um, they're super shy, they have, you know, they don't have a ton of confidence. Um, on or off the field and when they get done with my program or while they're training in my program I help them with those things which goes way beyond soccer and if I can clearly explain to parents within two minutes about how that's part of our program it's a it's a done deal I believe in my head if I offer the superior product in my city I need to be aggressive because here's what happens if I'm not aggressive about it if I and to relax, if, I, if I'm not confident with what I'm talking about, that parent, within that first two or three minutes of, of our first impression, they are, they're not gonna have that much respect for me. Like they're gonna, they might think about it the next week, oh, we talked to Ben, but they might go back online and find somebody else, right? And the way I really look at it, um, this is just something that I, I've instilled into my mindset over the last, especially the last two years, is like, when I talk to a parent about their kid, I'm genuinely interested in helping them, right? That's my mindset, that's my goal. And if I can clearly get that across, I can move away from that conversation with 100% with confidence knowing that I did everything to prove to them that what I'm gonna offer is going to be the best fit for their child. And if I walk away from that conversation feeling anything different about, oh man, I should have said this or I should have said that, then I feel like I didn't really do my best job to make sure that they understand everything about what we're trying to do here, right? And if they go train with somebody else, I'm gonna feel like they are basically getting training from somebody else who might not offer the same product, and it's because what they did at that point is they sold their program better than I did. And it's a competition. Like, 
I don't care what anybody says, business is a competition. And the person who really has the obligation and they feel like it's their duty to help as many kids as humanly possible, that person's gonna win. And that has nothing to do with the actual soccer training. That has everything to do with like confidence and knowing that you believe in your program to the point that you need to tell more and more parents about what you do. Otherwise, those kids are gonna go train with someone else who might get terrible results, right? And that's really the way I look at it. If, if a kid goes and trains with somebody else in my city and they have the opportunity to train with me, like that, that kid might get worse at soccer. Um, they might have a terrible experience and it's up to me to make sure that that doesn't happen, right? So that's why I always take personal responsibility if someone's gonna join my program or not. So guys, that is really the mindset I have um, when I talk to um, parents in my city. And I'm the same way with coaches. Like, I know if, if a coach joins one of our programs, I'm gonna do everything I can to help out. And I'm going to help out because I can guarantee it because it's already worked for other coaches. And that's why I'm very aggressive about my process. When I get on a phone call with a coach, and, and if we ever get to talk about that, I'm gonna make sure that they understand within 60 seconds, that I am somebody who can help because it is my obligation to help you grow your business. That's why I feel like I'm called here to do on earth. Um, and that's why like, I don't hold back because I feel so strong about helping more coaches help more players. And that same mindset is the same thing I have when I'm talking to parents in my community about their kids, right? So that's it guys. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button. Um, comment below too. If you have any questions for me, comment below. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. So Saturday, I always have uh, my phone call set up. So I have, um, I think tomorrow between 3 and 5 p.m., I'm going to be hopping on uh, the phone. So if you have any questions for me, um, what I want you to do is just click the link below in the description, or sorry, in the comment section. Um, you're going to see a link where you can just fill out a quick form. Um, and we'll get on the phone and chat about your business um, and I'll show you how I can help you out. Um, and those phone calls are typically 10 to 15 minutes long. Uh, they're short, they're to the point. We just talk about what you need help with. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button um, and let me know if you have any questions below. All right, I'll see you later.